Hi everyone, so today I'm going to show you my new LV purchase. So this is the box. I'm not going to pretend that I haven't opened it because I have opened it. So this is what I purchased. I know you guys are probably all surprised because I did say that I wasn't going to buy any more LV. But you know what? I guess just never say never. So I did go for the Neon Noe. And of course it is the Rose Poudre. And there's a lot of things I want to talk about this bag. So I'm just going to kind of give you an overview of how it looks. Of course, this is the monogram. It came in about two days ago. Um, but I haven't had time, obviously, because of school and everything. So it says Louis Vuitton right there. This one doesn't say anything. So yeah, the strap looks like this. And like that okay so whenever you get your bag it does come with um, bubble paper so I'm just gonna take it off to just show you the inside of it so this is what the inside looks like it is like a suede material you can see it there very very good and then you have like um <clears throat> excuse me it's like 8 in the morning right now so you do have like a pochette in there but it's like sewn on there do you see that and then like the bottom i can put you see those are my fingers so um, that doesn't really bother me i want to do like a how to organize the neon no a because i'm still playing around with it i am going to be wearing the bag today so i'm going to show you what i'm going to take with me so yeah and the way you close it you just pull the strings and like that one thing I noticed, I was like, why is this stitched backwards? So I did my research, and turns out this side actually goes back, and this goes to the front. So I, I guess I didn't, like, you know, tell myself um, to look at those details when I looked at the website. So, yeah, this side goes out. Also, another thing, this stitching, you see how this is a little off? It, like, doesn't touch the middle of the flower there, but right here, like, the flower is a little bit at the bottom. The one on the website actually kind of looks like that, just not so much like mine's. But I personally really don't mind it because when you take a look at the top part, it's literally like the same, you know, it's like the measurements just align just because it is a bucket bag. Obviously, it has to be like scrunched up here. So this doesn't really bother me. Plus, when it's sitting down, you really can't tell. Another big thing. Oh my god, this freaked me out so much. This strap came like this. It came bended. You saw what I did there? It came like this. So I was freaking out. I was trying to adjust it all day and I couldn't. And I was like, why aren't the buttons aligning? Like they did button, but this extra piece of leather didn't. So I actually had to go to the LV store. Keep in mind, I am at the busiest point of my life right now because i'm doing my teacher training i have homework on top of homework i don't have time so i made time to go i spent 30 minutes there so crazy so all she did was literally she told me to set the bag at the counter and i did and all she did was this i was like are you kidding me she's like yeah i know a lot of people come in saying that their bags have an issue when in reality it's just a flip so i was like wow also another thing there's an lv stamp right there and when this bag first came out um it didn't have like a stitching here now mine's does so i was so happy one thing i pointed out to the girl at the louis vuitton store was that the stitching looks like it's gonna rip and crack she said yeah that's fine so i'm not so happy about how it looks you see like it doesn't look like cute but i mean it's okay people are not gonna see that and plus the bag is mine so i can do whatever i want here's an overview of the stitching for you to see so yeah um i'm gonna leave my bag a little bit like kind of open like that i don't want it so tight like this because i feel like i don't know it just looks too much like a bucket and like i love the whole concept of the bucket except like i don't want it to look super you know like you know structured in a way i want it to look a little slouchy because if you take a look this pretty much does look like a never full cinched in 
which is what Jenny here on YouTube said, and she actually has this bag. She was the one that convinced me to get this bag. And you know, my nails are pink. I got the light pink Crocs. Now I have the Neo Noe. I have like so many baby pink things because that is my favorite color ever since I was like in fifth grade. I've always switched between like black, white, red, but baby pink has always been my favorite color. So I have some exciting videos with this bag coming soon. So please let me know if you want like a comparison between this or like the Speedy 30 or anything else. So just let me know because I will do it. So more content on this bag if you've been wanting to buy it. I was debating between the black one and then this, but I was like, I don't really have many black bags. I only have my La Pliage. So let me open this, which by the way, the date code is USA. So it was made here in America, but I can't really read the numbers. It's right there, and I'm not going to try to, like, you know. The code says SD4200. So it was made on the 40th week of 2020. I don't want to count. So anyways, probably like in August, huh? Probably somewhere around there. So I'm going to show you what I'm going to put in my bag. Today it is Saturday and my cousin's birthday is today it's gonna be at a ranch so we're all really excited there's gonna have like a mechanical bull and um music and everything we're gonna dress like cowboy cowgirl so i'm gonna show you i'm gonna wear this charlie horse hat if you're from texas you know about this this isn't mine it's my sister's i didn't have time to go to the store to buy mine and hers is like cracking and I told her about it. I was like, I can just Sharpie it. She's like, no. But anyways, um, yeah, it's like a Texas thing. Well, if you're like from North Texas, but yeah. So anyways, um, I'm going to put things in my bag because I want you guys to see what I'm going to put in it for today. This bag is a light pink, but you can tell like the pink, you know, there's different shades of pink. And this is more like a strawberry banana pink. That's the best way I can describe it for you. So this is from a store called Typo. My sister got this for me. So in here I have like a little coin pouch. And I have my coins in there. This is the best eyelash glue. If you struggle with eyelashes, get this glue, okay? I did makeup for almost three years and this glue was the best thing for my clients and I. So it's the Kiss brand strip lash adhesive and it's the one with the aloe. In black so literally the glue is black I don't want to like mess it up but if I you see you see the glue it's black so if you please wear eyeliner when you wear eyelashes just please do but this just makes it so easy and you do not have to wait like 30 seconds to a minute for it to dry so I love that I put on my lash and then I move on next I have this coin bag which a lot of people laugh at me for this but honestly like I love this stuff so I'm not going to laugh at it, obviously. I have scissors. You have no idea how handy this has came in my life, okay? Scissors, so important. So I like these from Amazon. They came with a pack of three. And if you guys want like an Amazon favorites, let me know because I've been buying so much Amazon, obviously because of, you know, I don't have time. And then I have my house key. I have many house keys all over my room. But this is the one I always take with me, like, on date night when I'm not driving. Um, I have my car keys, too. The have a house key, but yeah. Okay, now this. I purchased this little thingy at a store called Miss A. And it came empty, obviously. So I just put 70% alcohol in here to use as a hand sanitizer. Of course, I do have many, many hand sanitizers. But I just kind of felt like I needed to be a little safer and substitute like the cute glitter hand sanitizers for actual alcohol i mean i guess you could say i'm you know not caring so much about cutie things but i mean i kind of do you know but i don't know it's just this weird thing in my head so yeah it holds a lot and please get 70 percent alcohol instead of 90 percent because 90 percent kills like the actual good germs as well so 70 percent will do it so that is everything I have in here. My sister, the one that got me this bag, um, she just turned 21. So she got it on sale. It was like buy two for like 15 or something. 
So I'm actually going to lay this on the side where we'll lay it against my body. Which, by the way, I'm going to wear a white, nice top with like some really flare high-waisted jeans. Next are these sunglasses. These are not for me. They're actually for my boyfriend. I bought him these glasses. I have not opened them yet. I don't even want to open them because they're for him and I want him to open them. Yeah, he really likes these types of glasses, so I got him those. So I'm just going to set those right there. Because I've been wanting to give him the glasses for like a week now. And I keep forgetting, so... Then I have two portable chargers. If you guys have been watching my channel for quite some time, you know these are so old. And since they're so old, they don't even work the same anymore. So I really need to buy new chargers because these are not doing it for me. And of course, my mini pochette. I kind of changed a bit of the things I have in here. So I guess I could show you real quick. So I have my MAC lipstick in Velvet Teddy my favorite lipstick if you're medium toned this will be amazing like a pretty pretty nude color i love it i also have dental floss i love flossing i always flossed but it didn't really come to mind much until shea whitney always says that she flosses and it's so important to floss and she just really strengthened the idea of flossing so i was like girl you are so right so i carry dental floss with me everywhere and it comes in so handy and i love to floss and if you do not floss you are so nasty so i'm just saying the truth here next are my airpods i am in no need to buy the new ones i'm not the type of person to just go out there and get something just because it's brand new like the iphones and stuff i've never been like that this bag has been out for quite some time but you know, like it just now caught my eye. So I'm not going to follow a fashion trend or what's in style. I'm going to follow my own style. So I also have two liners, essential girl things. I have three band-aids because sometimes I do wear heels. Then I have my card case and it's l like a black leather. I have a $20 bill in here and the middle part opens and i have a 20 dollar bill on this side and this 50 should go in there i always like to keep emergency money because you really never know okay so in here i also have my eiffel tower pill case i used to rely a lot on pills um i like to break my thumbs in half because sometimes i feel like the ones i got were a little too much and those are headache pills so yeah it's really pretty and i purchased it when i was like in fifth grade and i'm about to finish university so it's really crazy and i really do take care of my things so i hope that shows you that i do and then of course i have a covergirl pencil i really don't use this this is like for your eyebrows um i don't like you see like what is this i don't know i still keep it just in case but i've never really used it have an emergency pen which trust me this has came in so so handy and a lipstick which is kind of like a dupe for this MAC Velvet Teddy, except this one is in Bear Your Soul. And it's really skinny, so I like how skinny it is because it just fits really comfortably in here. So that is my mini pochette. If you could buy one thing from Louis Vuitton, it has to be the mini pochette. So I'm just going to lay this in the front here. And I'm just going to close the bag. See, this wouldn't be the way I would like wear my bag, so I'm going to have another video on like more in depth like once i start wearing the bag and like what i want to put in it but for now this video is it let me show you the other things that came obviously with the you know we had the dust bag it came so nicely wrapped in the ribbon okay so this is the little card thingy then we have this and of course my receipt which i did a gift receipt so i could forget about the price and then I did this for myself. Well, congrats on passing core. Get excited. This is only the beginning. Um, I passed my exam on the first try. If you guys want a video on how to pass your core exam for the first time, let me know because I will do it because I studied so much. So, so much. So I can definitely do a video on that. So I got a bag as well because the day I went to go fix the strap situation, the girl was so nice and she's like, do you want a bag by any chance? Because I had the box in my hands and I was literally carrying it like that in the mall. So 
she gave me a bag so that was really nice so yeah i hope you all enjoyed this video please don't leave me any hate it doesn't do you any good and it just makes me laugh um because it's really sad when people get bothered at things that don't even have to do with them you know it's like you're just wasting your time um so i hope you all enjoyed this video let me know what other kinds of videos you would like to see next on this bag and i will see you all next time bye